So today I want to talk about my action phase project. How should I say projects? Because there was two. Um, so let me start with the first one. The first one, the idea came right after the, the emergent phase. As I said in the Facebook, when I go to, uh, when I merge into the Kenyan experience, I find out that in the social media, there's a lot of advertisement about and offline courses or like courses that happen on the ground and people to register like this 30 seat or 25 seat and most of them was about the entrepreneurship courses like design thinking, market research, user research, how to talk to the customer, how to find the com how to found the company, this kind of stuff. So like there's a limited research, uh, limited seats with the very expensive. This is this is the first problem that I have. And then the association that I have was for example, if you look at Udemy, Han Academy, you find out that they provide a skills, but for like a million of people. So this is the association that I had in my mind. And then the question was, why Kenyan don't use this kind of apps or this kind of website? My suggestion was, there is no any local material for them. So all of them are made for the people who understand the different thing, who went through a different experience, so they can understand it. This was my idea. So how might we for me was how might we provide a graduate students with the market skills for their needs so that they can be ready for their jobs. This was the idea. And then we start building a platform and I have one of my friends. So in this one I work with one of my friends because one of the skills that I want to achieve was team working. I didn't work with the team before. And so we work together. I find it challenging to work together, to be honest, because everyone has a different schedule from the others. But anyway, uh, we get the introduction, like the first course, roughly, we finish with it. So my name is Robin Yakundi Omeka. I am a trainer in the concepts of human-centered design. This is a course that has been originally created by uh, IDEO, which if you Google, you will find online. It also helps them to find out the underlying factors that cause the problems to manifest. So what design thinking will do, if you choose to learn it, is it will allow you the knowledge that you need to critically analyze the problems that you or other people are experiencing in society today. We finish with it. And then when we try to launch it or like to market to the people, we find out people actually not aware of the online courses booming happening in the world. Um, and that was the problem because we jump right from the burning to the idea generation before going with the sensing. So we went back to the sensing and then we find out that people or like when the student or the graduate have a problem, the first go-to place is either the professor, the lecturer, the doctor, or colleague. So that's why most of the things happening actually offline, not online. And then I tried to shift. So the shift was actually in front of my eyes because I was working in the company, and that company dealt with a lot of teachers. So I talked with a lot of teachers at that, at that moment. So I find most of the teachers have a smartphone, have a good internet, but they use your phones for two things, for communication via WhatsApp, Facebook, or entertainment, and that's it, for the children or for themselves. And then I did uh, a kind of research for the company itself about what kind of education app that's happening in the world. And that was eye-opening because there's a million of free apps that provide wonderful things for them, for, for the people, but actually the teacher did not utilize it. So that was the burning. And then I talked to the teacher like about what kind of thing they want to see or what kind of thing that they have a problem with. And most of them having a problem with the materials for the teaching. Or for example, they want songs. They want a good shapes like to show their children. They want to organize their times. So that, that was the sensing or the problem that they have uh, from that. So how my tweet for me was how might we make the teacher aware of the free resources so that they can teach better? This was the idea. How to go about it? I have no idea. Then I talked with, with, like, we have a discussion for one of the global dialogue, and then I talked with one of my colleagues, 
And then she said like, why you can't provide something and then share it free with them, like make some kind of guide. And that was actually a pretty good idea because that was starting of Corona and then all of the teachers will go back to their, their, their houses. So what I try to do is a simple PDF that have a 12 apps and then send it to, to two teachers to get the feedback from and one of my Amani colleagues. And then from these three, I got a really good feedback about the layout and like I should give a brief introduction about each app and what they can do for the teacher, like how they can solve the problem or suit for the needs. After I finish doing all of the edit, I send it to the teacher. We have 50 teachers actually like it um, and then we have three teachers who send back the feedback. So the feedback mostly was they love the idea but they want to make it more accessible. The problem with accessibility of the app was you have to have a PDF reader in your phone and also uh, we provide a link for every app but it seems like it doesn't work so they have to copy all of the apps and then go back to the Play Store to install so that was um, a bit of hassles so now we're trying to find out a way to make it even better like the first idea that I have in my mind is to make it as an app but this is like need more of brainstorming about it so yeah that was the the actual first project, ah yeah, and the name that I gave it to it was Super Teacher. Because they actually Super Teacher. Thank you.